Although it's still nice and green now, we're heading into the summer months, which means we need to look at things like summer crop to help get through the potential dry and heat. 501 chicory is a great option. And today I'm going to give you my three top reasons why this crop is an amazing producer of summer protein for our dairy farms. Reason number one. Fiber one chicory helps to break the weed and insect cycle. Weeds can be sprayed out multiple times with a crop of fiber one, and you have the added benefit of being able to control both broadleaf and summer grass weeds, which can be very beneficial in some areas. Insects also hate fiber one chicory, so as soon as they hear a crop's going in, they'll pack their bags and be on their way, meaning you've got a nice clean paddock ready for your new grass in autumn. My second reason why chicory is a great summer crop is to do with the soil. We all need to look after our soil resource on farm, and chicory has the added benefit of producing a reasonably large taproot throughout the summer. This taproot has the added benefit of adding organic matter to the soil, punching through pans, and can even help the newly establishing ryegrass plants find a place to put down their new roots. The third reason why chicory is a great summer crop option is around its ability to produce protein throughout the summer. Anything that's not green and leafy over the summer is not high in crude protein. Our producing animals need crude protein in order to produce. And if you've ever had chicory before, you'll know that the cows run down the race to get their fix. On top of all of this, the grazing hours are reduced greatly on your ryegrass pastures over the summer as animals spend more time on the chicory crop, which means that there's nutrient return to this paddock and more grazing hours than you would normally get from your ryegrass pastures at this time. There are plenty of other benefits of 501 chicory as a summer crop. That was just my top three. As long as the soil temps are 12 degrees and rising, you're good to sow. So get into it. And fast forward to January, February, you'll be able to bask in that green goodness.